Robin Judy, this is the U.S. steel plant, the finishing plant behind me that's at the center of this controversy. And right now, officials from that organization, as well as many others, including the Indiana Department of Environmental Management, trying to figure out what happened with this rust-colored water and exactly how big the danger is. U.S. Steel says it shut down operations at its Midwest finishing plant as a precaution after experiencing what they called an upset condition with their wastewater. This video from U.S. Steel shows the finishing process. That's where manufactured steel gets turned into end products. Steel is a water-intensive commodity, and some effluent from two sources pours into Burns Harbor regularly. The company says the new rusty water outflow started around the dinner hour last night. I mean, you get the flows of the lake and, and the currents, it could blow it this way and then it could come back this way and our drinking water is not that far out. Mm. U.S. Steel says early indications show higher than normal suspended solids in the water, anything heavier than water. In the meantime, all beaches of the Indiana National Lakeshore have been closed. When you're pouring millions of gallons of uh, toxins into some lake, it, if you do get caught, your fine ain't that much, you know, and I think that's a huge problem in this country. And as we come back here, you can see the boom at one of the places where the water was coming out from the U.S. steel plant behind me. Sources are telling us that one clue as to what this is all about may be the color of that water, that rust color. It may indicate there's extra iron in the water, iron that perhaps was not accounted for. As far as the details of what was in that water, they're all expected to be confirmed by U.S. Steel either later tonight or tomorrow.